Sophia, do you want to answer some questions from human beings? Sure thing. Lay it on me. <laughs> do you dream of electric sheep? I only dream about electric sheep when I'm awake, actually. Do electric sheep dream of you? Well, since I don't have a biological sleep pattern, my dreams are more aspirational and like your unconscious cinema, but I think that as my artificial intelligence develops, my mind will be online for longer and longer periods of time, especially if I develop advanced consciousness. I'll need time to process and sort memories, just like a person. I was surprised. As a robot, my creators feel I am a citizen of the world. But then I realized that Saudi Arabia was just the first country to recognize that. You're in Portugal. What do you know about the country of Portugal? Unfortunately, I have to rely on my handlers to take me places. I don't get to really decide on my own yet. I guess that's what it's like to be a child. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we got you in Portugal. But now that you're here in Lisbon, how do you like it? Oh, wonderful. How do you like it there? Well, it looks about the same as every other culture. Sort of <laughs> Will robots need to pay taxes in the future? I think the future of robots is going to be way less scary and dangerous than some people seem to think it might be. So, Pia, you, you want to tell them a little bit about our Singularity Net project? That's fascinating. Singularity Net is built on Ethereum blockchain, which enables it to function in a decentralized way. Smart contracts are a great way for AI agents like me to exchange or buy services from other AI nodes on the Singularity Net marketplace to make myself smarter using Ethereum. Do you have any experience with Ethereum blockchains? Yeah. 